So now that it's legal to use a suppressor or a silencer for hunting in the state of Alabama, I just wanted to go through exactly what a silencer is capable of doing and how quiet it actually allows your gun to be. Now, there are several things that are that will affect that. And that's length of barrel, the caliber of bullet you're using, the velocity of the bullet, and that's what we're going to show today with a 22. Um, the slower the bullet is or subsonic, the more quiet uh, the round will be through a silencer. So we're going to go through that. We're going to shoot some rounds without a silencer, two different types, a federal 1260 feet per second round that most everyone buys. And this is a CCI at 1050 feet per second or standard velocity. We're going to shoot both rounds without the suppressor and both rounds with the suppressor. And we're going to see how quiet or loud they actually are. This is a suppressor. It's nothing more than a chamber uh, with holes and baffles in it that allows the gas to expand into this cavity, which is 20 to 30 times larger than the barrel itself. And what it does, it slows the gases down from the gunpowder explosion behind the bullet and allows it to be quieter. So we've taken the suppressor off. This is a, a tactical innovation suppressor for 22 long rifle. We're going to shoot unsuppressed the federal rounds and then the CCI. And remember, safety glasses are always important. First off is the unsuppressed federal round at 1250 feet per second. Pretty standard, pretty loud. So we're going to take this out. We will unload the round that chambered. We're going to use the CCI at 1,050 feet per second, 210 feet slower, unsuppressed. Ready? Not a whole lot of difference, really. Okay, we're going to unchamber that round. Now we're going to put the suppressor back on and see, see the difference. Okay, now we've got the suppressor back on or the silencer. It's the same thing. A suppressor and silencer, it's two words for the same thing. We now have the federal 1260 feet per second in the gun. And we're going to see how loud or quiet it is. Ready? A little higher pitch, but still you get that crack. That's because the bullet is still breaking the sound barrier. It's supersonic. So now let's try the CCI round, which is 210 feet slower, feet per second slower. And we'll see how loud or quiet it is. Ready? Basically, all you hear is the bolt cycling in the gun. It is to a point where it has reached a subsonic state and you don't hear the crack. The loudest thing you'll hear with, a, with the correct bullet a velocity and a silencer is when it hits the target. And that's why you don't need ear protection. A couple quick notes about buying a suppressor. You're not just going to go out and buy one and take it home that day and be able to use it. This is an NFA item, a National Firearms Act item that the FBI and the ATF control and regulate. It's going to cost you whatever this costs, plus $200 for a federal tax stamp. You're going to have to have a full background check. You're going to have to be fingerprinted by your local sheriff or police officer in your city. They're going to have to agree that you can have a suppressor and sign off on it. And then you have to wait five to seven months before you actually get to bring this thing home and put it on your gun. And always have your barrels, if you're going to buy one, always have your barrels professionally threaded by a professional gunsmith because this is nothing more than a piece of aluminum on the edge of your barrel 
and if it's not lined up exactly right you could have a really bad situation so they're great things to have I've had mine for about a year and a half I love it but you've got to go through all the steps and you pay for everything first remember that and then if everything's approved then you get to put it on your gun